Ireland. It's the agents of Nightfall. And we're back in the Mirror City again. Here we are again. Yes. No, we're back again. It's Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry I hope you had a lovely Christmas. It's now just after Christmas, so we're yeah. going to try and take a bit fun. Yeah, um, it's not actually, a serious one. It's get a gargant this time. Yeah, we're going to get us a gargant, and we're playing the Oryx and um, or the Oryx. Uh, whatever I'm playing, the Chosen Axes. The chosen Axes. So and mortal these enemies decks, we might actually team up a little bit on this one. <laughs> I think they've probably, probably better had. Uh, these decks are um, chosen for us by our Patreons. Yes, they are. And so they have put these decks together, so if it's rubbish, then it's not our fault. <laughs> But Merry but, Christmas, patrons! But, but hope you guys, hope you guys enjoy seeing your decks out on display here and <laughs> seeing how they do against the the horrible gargan. I've got to think up things that, that I can use with a G for gargan now. Um, grotesque, grotesque gargan. Uh, but that's about all I've got right now. Gallivanting. <laughs> it's not quite gargan Okay. So we've set up the boards. You don't have any additional boards when you've got a gargan. Uh, you, so you pretty much do all the normal setup as per two players when you've got two. So as normal, I won the roll-off. Robin's <laughs> placed the objectives and we've got one, four, five, three, and two. Which is largely now, relevant because we don't score any objectives. Exactly. You don't have any objectives in this game. You just take uh, gambits. Yep. Uh, however, Robin does kind of need them for inspiring I purposes. I so, for insp inspirational purposes. For inspirational purposes. So uh, you might also want it if you have the ploy. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Regal vision. Yeah. If you're standing on an objective. So yep. there might still be reasons to put objectives down. So you pretty much just have to run through that process anyway. Unless you and your... Uh, opponent have already agreed beforehand that you don't need objectives at all, but it might give the game away. But anyway, so we put them down, those are them, and now we're going to roll to see who places the first model. And it does matter again, it's another one where it does matter. It's four people aside. <sighs> Just a single and double for me. Oh, two crits. Two Robin is critting crits. it up tonight. Right in the critter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <coughs> so, I guess you're going to be placing the first model. I will place the first model. Do I want to go first? Oh. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea, but I think we're going to be mostly trying to work together in this, aren't we? Yeah, the Gargan must die. It being Christmas. Yes. And Oryx and you? dwarves have put aside their differences. Yeah. Now, the question is, do I put somebody right up front? You put Tess. Is that Tess? Now, the yes, Gargan will appear there. in one of these two sets of hexes. There. Yeah, I could put somebody right there. Yeah. So that's Tefk, is it? That's Tef. Okay, so I'm gonna put, put Basher there. I think it's only like my second or third game ever with the Oryx, so I might I might get some of the names wrong. But I don't think so. The Oryx have been around for a year now, so. I'm gonna put Mayor Megan there. I realise I may have screwed up on my objective placement because I've actually got to get these dwarves on them and they only move two. It will be tricky. Yeah. But you're always gonna have some problem there. But yes, yep. you, you possibly might have wanted to place that number one, which is the last objective, somewhere else. Mm. Mm, that's tricky. Okay, I'm going to then place Hacker here. Do I put Vol? You need Vol Gargabane. He's Auric Bane. He's, 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 he's I could put he's him there. I was either there or there, but they're fuel be here, you see. Yeah. It's tricky, isn't it? Also, but the Gargant's going to be in one of these three. But if you'll, but yeah, maybe I need fuel. But if you died early on, then it's a bit of a blow, isn't it? I'm going to put him there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put... Boom Cutter. Yeah, uh, actually, I'll put him there, right up front. No, in fact, that's stupid. I'm going to put him there. Yeah, I am going to put fuel right up front. <laughs> I'm going to put Gurzag here. So now, the Gargant comes along. Boom, 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 boom. Do we have to roll off where I'm not goes? a Gargant. <laughs> I'm a Morgast. So there's a Morgast. We haven't got a Gargant figure, and we weren't going to go out and buy one just for this, but we have some other things painted, so we're going to use them instead. So now the Gargant has to go either here or here. And as there's multiple options, we have to roll off, and the winner gets to pick. So I get... Oh, single and two doubles. Let's give her a crit. Wow, two another two crits, so you get to pick. Well, it makes a big difference, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll leave him where he is. I think that might be a wise choice. So now we roll to see who gets to pick to go first. The Gargan does always go first, but you obviously have to determine yep. through it. Oh, other I players. get an extra crit. You do get an extra crit, so go on, roll them. See how many crits you can get this time, eh? So I get five. Oh, Ooh, just, no just crits! One, one, two singles. You do require a single if you want to if you want to go first. I don't know whether you. How many singles did you roll? Uh, two, two singles. Two. So you I need do, a crit and two crit. singles. Do, or I need yeah. two crits or something like that. If yeah. I want to beat you. Oh, just one crit. crit. So you get to pick. Okay. I'm quite happy with that because I had no idea what I wanted to do. No. Um, 
So you know, Pete, I feel like although we agreed that we would work together on this, I kind of feel like every, everything you do, it makes me feel like that, that isn't actually at all what we're going to do. So oh, don't forget, I will probably kill you with the gargant. <laughs> well, I kind of figured that when we're controlling the gargant, we are going to go after the yeah, other person. Yeah, you're not going to go over your own team, are you? I'm sure you want to make them as le- the gargant as literally ineffective as, as ineffective as possible. Cards on the table. When I'm when I'm the gargant, I'm coming after your guys. But okay. when it's my oryx, I'll probably go after the gargant. Mostly because I'm not going to be able to score glory unless I, I actually win the Gargan. I see what you're saying. Right, okay then. So, Okay, so Robin, what are you going to do? I Very... think as the Gargan's first turn is just going on guard, which you get to do, I'm going to go first. And you'll get to control him. So for his first turn, he has to go on guard, is that right? It looks like so. So the Thickening Hive, <clears throat> if the Chaos Gargan is not on guard, put the Chaos Gargan on guard. If the Chaos Gargan is on guard, then they, they will rep- perform the Rampage action sequence below, which has five different steps in it and various ones happen dependent and after that you then get abominable regeneration um, which happens in certain circumstances but none of that takes place because he went on guard so that is the first thing that happens so now it's on to your first activation we're gonna attack with fuel we're going to attack with fuel my first activation which is two two hammery ruse okie do come on fuel it's a good start. Oh, no. Brilliant start. Well done, Tefk. That is not what you wanted. I needed a, I needed a glory, and I ain't got it. Okay, so onto the power step. Do you have anything you want to play? So in the next activation, it's you, isn't it? So, it, my, I'm, yeah, it's my go next. And then we go so I don't want to play things that affect the next activation. No. Okay, so onto my activation, and I'm going to charge. I might as well get this, get the ball rolling on this one. I'm going to charge with Hacker over here. Whop is charging him. And he rolls two swords, a mighty two swords, and does one damage. So, one sword. Ooh. So you get to roll the defense dice for the Gargan. Shield he it. is on guard, but it's only one dice. Ah, curse you. It's a good start for the uh, <laughs> defenders. It's a good start for the offensive warbands. Yeah. Can't hit the broadside <laughs> of the bomb. Now, one thing that he doesn't really cover in this is how push knockback works and... and and all that kind of stuff. I assume, because it doesn't mention otherwise, that we can push him back, and that I would just push the hex that I'm attacking, so turning him like that. Oh, hello. So, uh, in my power step, I do not have anything else that I want to do. So now it moves around to the Gargant. That's the... Oh, I, okay, so I am going to... Because the Gargant will be attacking me, potentially, won't he? I presume that this time I will I will take... Yeah, I will go. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to use Piercing Stare deploy in your power step choose an enemy fighter they cannot attack or charge or, or make a charge action in the next activation Ooh. and I'm going to choose the Gargan that's a good choice I like it so we go around to the second activation the Gargan goes first and you go back to his little list of stuff so you've got Thickening Hide which is if he's not on guard put him on guard but he is on guard and then we go on to the Rampage section so now we've got to roll to see who controls the Gargan it's not just me we have to roll every time okay so I that's, get oh, I thought we were going to alternate I don't mind which I got two singles, and that's it. I got one single. Okay. I think for the sake of speed, Robin, I mm. think you're right. I think we'll just alternate. Yeah, okay. So you went the first time, yeah. so I'll go the second time. So the Gargan sequence of events, he doesn't do his thickening hide because he's already on guard. And then we go on to Rampage. So I can move him twice. So I think I'm just going to sort of move him to there and there. Hello. <laughs> this is going to get a bit dodgy. And then he does his attack. He can't attack. Oh, he right, can't no, attack because of stare. piercing stare. Mm. So, I don't know if you would then do Bellow of Outrage in that situation because he can't attack, but I don't think so because no, Bellow of no. Outrage only triggers when he can't when he can't attack yeah. because mm. of uh, no range and so on. So, I think he just he doesn't do anything. Okay. So it's me next, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so he only does his Outrage if he can't move. And he does his Regeneration if he can't attack. Right. So I think we'll stick with, even if he does do the regeneration right now, it doesn't matter because he hasn't taken any wounds yet. Because neither of us can hit the broad side of a bar. No. So it's over to you over for to your me. second activation. Second activation, I'm going to make a fire steel axe attack with old Tef Flame there. And where's Tefk? Here. All right, cool. So you do have double assists on this one. Oh, yes. Three hammers. You roll hammers anyway, I presume? Okay, there you go. So the guy that only rolls one dice, if I get a crit, <laughs> Robin's gonna swear mightily. Oh no. Sure, I take it I've taken a So how many wounds is wound. that? Just one? Just one, that one, so yes. You have one glory. One glory. And you can push back 
as far as we're aware, you can push back that hex there so you could knock the back end of him out, as it were. What about that? Yes. There we are. So the Gargan has been wounded. Right, so now it's onto the power step, so the Gargan always assumes Make it his rings go. twice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's over to, uh, to you first. Do you have anything you want to play? Uh, no. Okay, I haven't got anything I want to play either, so it's onto my second activation, and I'm going to charge with Basher. He's going to go one, two, three to there. Basher rolls two swords, does one damage. Oh, not a snozzage. Surely I can count on you for some assists there. <laughs> oh, don't do a thing. Yeah, you should be able to, really. Yeah, yeah. We're all in it together, lads. Come on. <laughs> so he's charged. So onto the power step. Nothing for me to do. So where are we now? It's the Gargan's turn, is it? Well, if you've got nothing in your power step, nothing in the power step, so though. we're on to the third activation round, and it's the Gargan again, but you get the control. So thickening hide. He's already on guard, so he stays on guard. You can then move him twice. So you can do his advance, you can do his sidestep or his rotate. So I can go that way. Yep, so that's an advance. And then rotate to there. Yep. And we'll do that. Oh no, the first thing he does before he moves though, oh, okay. is you can pick one one fighter adjacent to him and push the one hex and do one wound. That'll be you. Yeah, so is that going to be Basher? Because Basher yeah. was there next to him. He oh, does right. that oh, before, before he, he moves. Yes, yes okay. before he moves he does that. Okay. So Basher gets kicked. Ow. And he does become inspired because of it. <laughs> okay. And now, done the move action, and now he's attacking Hacker. Three hammers, three damage. Three damage, ouch. That no, Hacker. Ooh, just one hammer. Just one hammer, so he's got a chance. He's I need a shield or a crit. Ray! Hey. Hacker survives. But right. you can push him back. No, I don't think I will. No? I'm not sure we'll actually be trying to do it. Just in case I end up over there. Yep. Suddenly. Yep. Okay, and so onto the power step. Anything for you? Because you're your next. Next, aren't I? No. Okay. I have nothing either. So onto your third activation. All right. I'm going to make a charge action with Tefk. Okay. My man Tefk. I'm going to go for the two hammer or three hammer attack. I'm going to go with the three hammer attack again. It's less damage, I presume. It's less damage, but yeah. But you still get glory for every wound if you yeah. get it in. Oh, it's a crit and a hammer. So the Gargan cannot stop that because he only has one defence dice. Brilliant. So that's... Is that one one wound? One wound, yep. So one more glory <coughs> for you. <coughs> Thank you. One more wound for the Gargant. Yep. And I... We're, so we're knocking back, we're pushing it in that way, aren't yes, we? Yes, I think that, that is the most suitable way of working it out. Okay. Okay, and in your power step, do you have anything you want to do? No. Okay. So on to my third go. I'm going to charge with Bone Cutter. One, two. Just tokens and models everywhere. It's crazy. Okay, so Bone Cutter rolls two hammers and does two damage. Oh, one hammer. So Robin, you get to roll the, the assist, uh, the defense. Oh, boom. Okay, so I'll attack that that front end of him and knock him that way. And then to the power step, I have nothing to do. I'm going to play Potion of Rage Ooh. on Tefk. Which one's Tefk? Pink one. And then charged. Gonna, He's charged. He's charged. Oh, I'm going to play. Ready, Ready for action! Oh, nice, nicely done. So, so well, I can only still only do three hammer attack, but I can hopefully knock him away again. Are you using the potion of rage? No, because okay. I said he's doing the first, doing this fight attack action before any dice are rolled. I was, yes, you I could, could use do it, it if I you could wanted. Do it. But it, see, I don't really want this. Is why I was wondering whether to put it on fuel because he's got three damage. But if I can inspire him, then he does three damage and it's much. Yep, so you might as well keep it until you've got the yeah. bigger damage. Yep. Yeah. As long as he's still alive. But it's a crit. It's a crit. Oh, no I haven't, assist, got, the, I haven't got the assist, sadly. So the Gargant needs a crit. Oh! oh well, I can you push can him. push. And I will. Wallop. So onto the third activation now, then. And I'm in control of the Gargant. Now, mm -hmm. he doesn't do his thickening hide because he's on guard. Yep. So it now says the controlling player may choose one fighter adjacent to the Chaos Gargan and push them one hex and do oh, the okay. damage. I don't know if I want to, though. No, well, that's you, isn't it? So I yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, mind you, would inspire him. Yeah, actually, I will do, because it'll be Bone Cutter. So yeah. he'll take a wound and he'll yeah. become inspired, which could be handy. And I'll push him back to there. And then I'm going to move the Gargan. I'm just going to rotate him one, two, back around this way. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure who I'm going to attack. So I'm going to roll a dice. 
And on a hammer or crit, I'm going to go for fuel. No, so he's going to go for tech. So he's going to do his um, brutal strike, which is three hammers, three damage. Oh, two hammers. You, you do get single assist as well, but you do need a crit. I'm going to get one dice. Dodge. Ooh, so three damage. Ow! That's oh, it's pretty. killed him. Glad to go play the Potion of Rage. Has he already, oh, he only got three wounds. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. He was our main chance, Pete, just so you know. Oh. Stupid Gargan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's it for the Gargan. So now it's on to your third activation, Robin. Still not scored any glory. Right. I'm We've only make, done two wounds I'm to the Gargan. I'm going to make a move action and I'm going to move on Tefk onto there. Oh, that's fuel, but yep. Yep, fuel onto there. Tefk is back. Ah! Well, there's fuel. Shove it over there. And that's me, John. Okay, nothing in your power step? No. We've Cash got out of, the, yeah. out of order there. We're trying too much going on. Yeah, don't know what we're doing. Gargan's making everything too difficult, so. Okay. So in your power step, I'm going to play Inspiration Strikes. Oh, clever. On Gurzag. Okay. So my man Gurzag is inspired now. On my fourth go round, Gurzag's going to charge. One, two, three to there. <laughs> and he's going to charge. So Gurzag is inspired. <laughs> he rolls two hammers and I can re-roll one. Must remember that. Oh, there's crit. a crit. And a... Nothing else. What you got, Gargan? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You've done some damage. Three wounds Yay. and three glory. Ooh. So yeah. I'm going to play great strength on Gerzak. Oh, nice. Anything for you? No. Okay. I'm also going to play helpful whispers on Gerzak. And you? No. Nope. And I'm also going to play soul trap on Gerzak. Uh, Still nothing for you, I presume. I'm going to play having a good time. So I'm hoping I need to roll dice now on a crit or a hammer. I can attack with him again. Yes. Okay, so here we go. Another attack from Gerzag. Two, Two hammers. hammers. Do I re-roll one? one and I no, no, no. You need a crit anyway with yeah. the gargant because he's only got dodges. No. Oh, no, okay. okay. So that's four more damage. Nice. Wham. Last Christmas, I ripped out your heart. So four more wounds to the Gargant. The Gargant now has nine wounds on him. Wow. Nine Are you wounds. Pushing him back? And I'm gonna push him back that away to there. Okay. And in my power and we're still in my power step, I've got nothing else to do. Okay, well, I'm gonna play centre of attention now. Ooh. And move I'll put on the Gargant, so I'm gonna yep. move him to there. You and could shove one of mine off if you wanted. Yours to there and yours to there. Ooh, okay. So that's it. Mm. That's the end. There is no end phase. No. So um, I have no cards left. Draw up four. So we have to draw our cards up again. I've got to pick up five. Four. So only you find that fuel and uh, who's the other one? Maygrim. Maygrim. Mad Maygrim. Don't forget he gets a re-roll. They're inspired, yes. Gets a re-roll. Don't forget that. Yeah. So there we go. So now we have to roll for round two. And there are four rounds, not three rounds in this game because it's crazy. So, roll for round two. I get. Oh, single and two doubles. Ooh, just double. Two, yeah. So, you going first? I am going to go first. Okay. So, the first thing that happens is Mr. Gargan kicks in. So, as he's not on guard at the start of the turn, at the start of the round, he has thickening hide kicks in, which means he goes on guard. And that's it, that's his turn over. He doesn't go on his rampage or anything like that okay. at all. I can't remember whose turn it is to control him. Um, well, let's roll off to see who picks the first time round. So I hit double, and that's it. And I got uh, crit. crit. So you, I think you can choose. Do you no, want to control him no, first or second? I'll control him. Well, so as long as going on guard doesn't count as controlling him, then, uh, then I'll control him next, if that makes sense. Yes, so I control the first time, and all he does is go on guard yep, whilst I've while he's under my control. That makes complete sense. Yep. Damn you. Okay, so on to me then for my first activation. I am going to take a swing... With Mr. At, Zag. At, with, yeah, with Mr. Zag. So I get double assists on this one. Two hammers. Uh, helpful Whispers is immediately no use whatsoever. <laughs> 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 but he does have great strength, so I'll do four damage if I can kick them, get this one off. Yes. Ooh, crit nice. the hammer. That's enough, isn't it? Yeah, the Gargan be. only has one, one, yeah. one save. So he now has... He takes four more wounds. Mm. So I get four glory. The Gargan now has 13 wounds, and he is inspired. 
which makes him a whole much, much more terrifying prospect. The one thing there is though that every time you deal damage to him, you only get one glory now, you don't get one per wound. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I quit. <laughs> Do you might go next. <laughs> I'm going to play... Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, it's actually the, still the power step, isn't it? it we're still the power step, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I've done damage to the Gargant, and I'm going to push I'm going to push him back like that. And then in the power step... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to play anything at this point in time. So anything for you? Yep. I'm going to play activated runes on fuel. Uh-oh. And I have something else to do if you don't have anything to do. Um, nothing at this point, no. Okay, I'm going to play Slaying Blow. Ooh. Which will uh, critical hit will do double double damage. Oh, 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 oh. and he can re-roll his dice, can't he? Because yes, he's he got his, his, his runes. Okay, still nothing for me. Okay, I haven't got anything else. Okay, so your first activation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my first action. I'm going to charge Gurzag. Hi. You said we were going to take the Gargan out first. Uh, well, I just realised that you've got so much glory and I can now only do one per turn. I can't possibly keep catch him up. Oh, this is a bit off. So I'm going to take Gerzak. <laughs> Merry f***ing Christmas. <laughs> oh, you see? The dwarves are the underhanded ones. The dwarves are the aggressors. I have the orcs peeved. were peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss anyway. Oh, oh no, there's, there's a, crit. a crit. I can re-roll that one. Oh, God. Oh, God, Gerzak. Oh, you're about to become a fine red mist. Oh, oh I was nearly a, a hammer. Just He's a only got one got, dice, I've though. I've got cleave. You've got cleave. I need a crit. Oh, yeah. no, I haven't. So you've done, so what, uh, eight, so damage? eight damage? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I do have soul trap. Oh, I forgot I that. I've got a turn of attack mode. Get the one in So I've got, I've got the soul trap. Does it kick in? No! No, no it doesn't. A spray with the gargoyle. Literally all over the garden. <laughs> The Gerzag has been <laughs> destructinated. Oh, poor Gerzag. Oh, do you oh. get a glory for that? You do get a glory for that. Oh, oh no. brilliant. Oh, what? Poor old Gerzag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to play Champion's Fortitude on, on, on Fuel. On fuel. You? So that gives him an extra <laughs> reroll on his defence dice. dice. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is mental. Oh, dear. Right. Curse you, <laughs> big bully, big horrible dwarf, picking on my poor little Oryx. Um, no. I think it might be the Gargan's turn now. <laughs> it is. So, that's the end of the first round. <laughs> We're on to the second round, <laughs> and the Gargan goes first. Uh, I feel like the gloves might be off now. <laughs> but you get control of the Gargan as oh, well. I? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'll isn't move, it? I'll move to here. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> so the first thing you can do is you can pick a model and you can push them one hex and do a damage to them. Okay. I will, uh, I'll do that to Bone Cutter, I think. Bone Cutter. <laughs> bone Cutter's <laughs> taken a wound, uh, another wound. He's taken two now. He's in trouble. Oh, he's a big bully. They like you. Uh, so now you can uh, you can move the Gargant twice. I'll so you can do it. So you've done the rotation. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. And you can do it again now. So you can either advance in one, or you can sidestep him, or you can rotate him again if you want to. Oh, I'll leave him where he is, I think. Actually. Yeah, actually. Well, I can yeah. move him backwards, I suppose, to there. You could. Move him away from the dwarves a little bit. Yeah. You big bully. Okay, so what are you going to do? Are you going to hit Hacker? Well, I might throw the boulder at um, Bone Cutter. Oh, yeah, you could actually. Yeah, because it's, it's four swords, mm. but three damage. In yeah. fact, it doesn't matter which one you go for. Oh, the hacker isn't wounded yet, actually, so... He's not inspired yet. He's not inspired, he's not wounded. So I could you could one-shot him, one -shot him so with... One and shot. he has cleave as well. Yeah, he has cleave. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh. Oh, hacker's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Big sodden bully. <laughs> right. Get back. Oh, you're this a is a silly game. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, you right power step then. <laughs> I've got nothing to do. No, oh, how odd. <laughs> I'm gonna play. Does, gargant, does a gargant, You have a power step in a gargant game. Uh, yes, he just he just um. You, you he, have, he there passes. is a power step, is there? Right. Okay. Yes, because he's, he's just another player. He's just um, okay. Right. He's activated like a normal fighter, yeah, so he must have fine, a power yeah, step yeah. himself. <laughs> I'm gonna play concealed weapon on Basher. <laughs> So if I if I roll a crit, he does two damage. He'll be doing four damage oh, to you. He'll kill Vol. He will. <laughs> yeah. Get back. That'll learn me. Yeah, that'll learn you. 
So I'm going to move Basher one, two to there when I when my, I do my charge. Don't want to move right round you because then I can't be pushed back and you uh, could do damage to I me could, easily. Yeah. So I am going to attack it, Vol I with Basher. Go. Three swords, two damage, and if I get a crit, it's four damage. Oh, just a sword. So I need a just sh one shield. Stinking sword. Oh, I saved as well. Get right. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna push it to there. Okay. Uh, that's the end of my face. So we're on the power step. Power step. I've got nothing. I've got nothing either. So it's on to your yeah. So we've we've got really confused here, and it might be really obvious when watching it back and when I'm editing it, but we've completely lost track of who's where, and it's partly because it's like ten to midnight and too much Christmas wine, too much Christmas wine, and uh, mostly because we haven't got a clue what's going on, and the gargant really has confused us. It's yeah. addled our tiny brains. Yeah, we're not very so good at rules. We're assuming that it's Robin's second activation. The gargant's already gone, and now it's Robin's second activation. And then I'll be going after him. So that's probably wrong. We'll find out when I come to edit it later on how terrible we've got it wrong. But anyway, that's it. And I don't think any of us are going to survive to see the end of this. No. Nope. So, so let's just crash on where we are. So Robin, on to your second activation. Okay, I'm actually going to make a charge action with Megan. Okay. Megan rolls three swords. Three swords and he can re-roll one. Which is good. Because he's not got a thing. Nice oh. work, Megan. Nice work. Okay, power step, anything? I haven't quite killed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on, on to me then, so my second go. So I'm going to charge with Bone Cutter, I think. I'm going to go one, two, three to there. I'm going to go after Magrim. You've started it, I'm going to damn finish, well finish, finish it. it. <laughs> so Bone Cutter rolls two hammers, and does three damage. One hammer. Nothing. Oh, so that is three damage. Still alive. Oh, he's got so many wounds. I'm gonna push back to there. I don't think he's gonna survive the gargant's turn with you controlling it though. <laughs> no, because he's gonna kick him. And yeah. do my damage <laughs> <laughs> so, power step, anything for you? Uh, no, I have got nothing to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> on to the third go round, and I get to control the gargant first this time. Mm -hmm. The first thing he's gonna do is kick Magrim in the face. <laughs> 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 Magrim gets kicked in the face by the gargant, and now it's onto my turn, so I get to move the gargant twice. So, I'm gonna go one, two to there. Hello. <laughs> The Gargant's going after Magrim. He is not happy, and I'm going to use his brutal strike. He's going to go after Fuel rather than Magrim. Sorry, yes, he's going to go after Fuel because he's too busy scraping bits of Magrim out of his toes. <laughs> so here we go. Four swords, four damage, and cleave. Oh, nothing. Fuel. You jammy... <laughs> <laughs> you git. <laughs> Ah, uh, you might be playing the dwarves, but they're utter gits. <laughs> so, uh, that's it, and nothing in the power step for the Gargant, so it's on to your third activation. Well, my third activation. Now, do I do I try and inspire fuel, uh, Vol for the last turn, or do I just attack <laughs> Basher here? Bear in mind, if you kill all my guys, then I become in control of the Gargant. Yeah, well, I'm not going to kill... Well, one way or the other. <laughs> one way off, kill, killing all your guys is my is my aim, isn't it? So I, I'm going to attack, uh, I'm going to charge there, Treacherous charge Basher. Horrible. It's only two, only two hammers though. Only two, just the two. Oh, there's a hammer. There's a hammer. So Bashar, your old shields, no cleaver or anything. I presume doesn't matter. No. How much damage? Two. Ow. So Basher's got two wounds left. Uh, one wound left. And then it's. Uh, your turn. So that's my third go. Did you charge with the bunkers already? You did, I didn't did, you? yes. So I'll move that over oh, yeah, there. That's there. Yeah. So as I have very little I can do, I'm just going to draw a card right now. So that's it for my third guard. Just picked up a card and that's all I've got. Okay. So on to the fourth go round, it's the Gargant to go first. Well, you can control him. And you get to control him. So yeah. so I'm guessing first off is Bone Cutter gets kicked in the face. Well, Bone Cutter gets kicked. So he's down to one wound remaining. Okay. But I can push him back, can you I? You can, yep. I don't think I will. And then I can move the Gargan. Yep. And, uh, so you can move him twice, so you can one, rotate. Two to there. Okay. Can't reach this guy here, so I'm going to just um, hit you for. F Doesn't really matter what I do, does it? It's, a, it's a little overkill. No, but <laughs> <laughs> the four swords. 
Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Oh, <laughs> two swords well. crit. <laughs> so he's absolutely obliterated well, so bone cutters out. So it's just poor old Basher left. <laughs> poor old Basher. Right. Oh, is that the... Is that the that's the, it's the fourth turn, isn't That's it? That's his so, fourth activation. Okay. So now it's onto your... Four, well, power step now, so it's up to you if you've got anything to play. In the power step, video, no, I have nothing. No, so it's onto your go. Uh, my fourth activation. I'm going to draw a card. Okay, so my third go, I'm just going to pick up another card. So either we both lose because we don't kill the Gargant now, or I win if you kill the Gargant. Yeah. I sense Fuel's just going to lay down. <laughs> <in a minute>. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the end of my fourth activation. I drew a card, so now we're around to the third third phase. The third phase. You've got to survive two phases. I don't, it's I don't, not going to happen. I don't rate your chances. I, I am not going to draw any cards because I've got six right now. So okay, I'm just I'm, going to keep what I've I'm got. I'm going to bin all three of mine. So it's time to roll for the third round, not the final round though. There are four rounds. <laughs> so third round, I get oh, oh, two crits, a single and a double. double. We're not likely to win this round anyway. Ooh, Ooh it's too uh, Schwartz. Schwartz. <laughs> I am going to go first. Okay. We need to roll for the Gargant. See who has control in the Ooh, first round. Control. I've got a crit and a double. Crit a single. Oh, you get back. So I'll let you have control first, because that's the putting it on guard. You double get back. <laughs> I do not like you. Okay, so the beginning of the third phase, I'm in control of the Gargan, the Gargan goes first, and he just goes on guard. <laughs> that's it. Into the power step, do you have anything to play? No, I don't think I do. Okay, so onto my first activation, then after the Gargan, and I'm just going to hit you with Basher. So it's two damage, and it will be plus two damage if I get a crit. Ooh. No crit. And just one sword. Oh. Three damage? Two damage? Two it damage. is two damage. Two damage. And I can push you up. two. Ooh. Oh no, I can't. I can't push you two because he doesn't have knockback. Or does he? Mm. Oh no, it's on a critical hit he has knockback one. So I can okay. push you one. Okay. I'm just going to shove you to there. Not that it makes much difference. You're still coming after me. My first activation, I'm going to make a charge action with Vol. <laughs> Leave me alone, you <laughs> big bloody bully. <laughs> okay. Uh, a crit. So I need a crit or bash is kaputinated. But a crit's no good because it'll be a draw. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play last lunge, a reaction. <laughs> on a hammer or crit, I get to make an attack on you. Uh. <laughs> Come on. No. <laughs> Boo. Boo. <laughs> Bash is dead. And now I have full control <laughs> of the Gargant. That's my power step now, isn't it? it now into your power step. Okay, I'm not going to... I'm going to play... Oh, I get a glory. <laughs> you do get a glory for killing him. Okay. So I could do, like... How many glory have you got if I could do death by a thousand cuts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got... I've got four... Ten. I've got ten here. you got to do thirteen wounds to him, so... Could, could, could do two at a time yep. with fuels for and only so many activations it's yeah. not, not looking very likely is it possibly not no I'm going to play Grimier's Fortitude on fuel <laughs> <laughs> nothing else no ok so so round to the second turn I'm, well, going I'm to not use... going to play Grimier's Fortitude I'm going to play Concealed Weapon ok so I'm going to start using these to represent the Gargant now because okay. I'm pretty much out of the game so second round first for the Gargant so he goes on his um, he hasn't got anybody to kick yet so he just goes onto his move, and I'm going to go one to there, Hello. and that's it. And then he's going to smash fuel to the face. So he's going to use his brutal strike four swords. Now he fluffed this last time. I just re one. It, I you need a crit. I can reroll it. Why yeah, but you need a crit because he has cleave. Oh, okay. I didn't get it. Well, I can reroll it. Oh, so four damage. Four damage. He's still alive. And I'm not going to move you. Okay. So now it is onto your onto the power step. The well, guard always play passes. Now. I'm going to play Tainted Vitality on the uh, fuel. I don't think it's going to make any difference. Both, I don't think I've got enough. Oh, and the Gargan loses one. Oh yeah. So the Gargan okay. fuel and um, is he not uninspired now? Is he? No. Uh, and Volor at bay. I think it loses one. And I'm going to play Urgol Boon on fuel as well. Oh, what's that? That's healing potion. Basically. Oh, okay. But do you roll dice and take two off? Oh yeah, I could do, couldn't I? Uh, so... But Urgol Boon oh, takes two off, so he's down off. to just one wound yeah. taken. So onto your second activation. Yeah, no, I didn't turn over. So Fuel's going to have a smack at him. A crit. crit. And, and you've got re -roll that. activated wounds. 
Nope. nope. So the Galgan has two dice now. And he rolls dodges, not crits, no, uh, okay. not shields anymore. But you do need a crit. I do need a crit. Two defense dice, he's nimble as a skaven, and two shields, that is not enough. How much? How many wounds? Four. Four? Uh, four, yes. Oh, I didn't get a... Oh, I did get a crit. Plus two. Six. Oh. So another six wounds on the Gargan. Wowza. So do I get a glory for that? You do. I'm going to use it to play Grimnir's Fortitude on Grimnir. <laughs> so the Gargan is now up to 18 wounds. He's only got... He's got eight left. Goodness, I only there were some Oryx left. And did you want to push him back with uh, your attack? Yeah, we will do. He at least has to yeah. move. And then we'll just move back and get ready. He will. But he can't, he can't kick, kick me. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. We're actually at the point where we're running out of wound tokens here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few more at the back here. Good, good, good. So we're going to need them. Okay, so the third phase, the third round rather. Okay. And uh, I'm controlling the Gargant, so he's going to go <laughs> back Hello. to there again. <laughs> I'm going to smash you in the face. <laughs> so four dice again, four swords with cleave. cleave. Oh, there's a crit. Does that mean anything? No, it just, well, just means need, I need a crit. You need at least... I need a crit anyway, don't I? Yes. I well, know, but there's a crit. And no, it's swords. You, your rolls this Gargan have... can't hit nothing. Yeah, your, your rolls have been a bit... You rubbish, get a re-roll because of... Um... Yeah, because of Awakened Weapon, but I failed, not Awakened Weapon. Uh, Champion's Fortitude. Champion's Fortitude. You still fail, it's just another four wounds. Okay, he's t but he's still alive, because although he's on five, I just played Grimnir's Fortitude. Oh no, it's defence. I've got an extra defence dice. It's ah. not an extra wound, it's an extra defence dice. Roll it, roll so it, roll, roll it. it. Oh no. You can, only, can you re-roll more than one with Champion's no, Defence? No, I can't. So I just need to... So you but failed two, so you, you need, need any re-roll one. Yes, okay. I'm trying to think of the odds are any different. I don't not. think so. Oh, it bounced off! So oh. he's dead. <laughs> is he dead? <laughs> the, uh, the upshot so you, of that is he's dead. So you're, he's taken five wounds now, but yeah, he's, he's only taken, got one he's got, from... He's got one left, so he's taken... No, he's only taken one. He's taken one, but he's got five wounds. You've just done four, haven't you? Yes. So Sorry, he hasn't got plus one wound, because Grimnir's Fortitude is... It's rich. plus one defence. Oh, so... So that was another reason to read your cards. Crazy few! Okay, we've killed crazy few. the dust. Oh, he has charged. He charged. He has charged, yes. Yes, he has. Okay, well, in my turn, then I'm going to take choose a card. <laughs> You're to pick a card up, because yeah. I can't do nothing else. So we're round to the fourth and final go. So the Gargan is going to be me. Uh, he can't kick anyone, because there's no. no one to kick. So he's going to go one, two to there. And he's going to hit... Who is that? Uh, Vol. Vol. So four swords, four damage. Uh, uh, uh. It's enough to one-shot him. If I could roll a sword, then I cannot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that's that's him. He doesn't do anything okay. else. And I'm so that's up to you. Take a card. Take another card. Okay. So that's it for the third round. Yep. I'm so gonna are you going to get rid of any cards? I'm going to bin uh, shifting image. So now we've got to roll for the fourth round, the fourth and final round this time. So, um, in fact, no, we don't have to roll at all because the gargant always goes first, and oh, I'm yeah. in control of it. <laughs> yep. So he has to go on guard. So first. First. F yep. First turn round, he has his thickening hide. So he just goes back on guard. Yeah. So Robin, what are you going to do? I'm going to have to attack, I think. Yeah. So Okay, so you're going to attack. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? There's oh, this was a crit over here. There's a hammer. And oh, just, just a this. Just a hammer. So I've got two defense dodges. Oh! <laughs> so how much damage is that? Two. Two more damage. And I will push him back. So I'm going to move you that way. Like. I'm going to push him there. Because it's not clear how you push him back. And we're not sure if you push both hex is back or not so um, yeah I'm going to play treasure lust Ooh. which I can push him up to three hexes and they must end up holding an objective run away to there and then pray to Grimnir that I don't die I'm going to uh, the earth shakes I'm going to choose a fighter and push him one hex so again is it that or is it that yeah not really sure it's not it's not clear there's nothing okay. in the rules that really explain how pushbacks and stuff work on the uh, on the gargan that we can see. I'm do let like us that. know. That's if how we've been. Well, I'll be consistent. So we'll do it. Like yeah, that. we'll do it like that for now. Just oh, to I got see. the glory but as well, didn't I? So second round, the gargan goes first. There's nobody for him to kick, so he's just going to go meh, meh, to there. Hello. Hello. Now he doesn't have very good uh, track record so far. No, so you've I actually your rolls have been abysmal. They have been woeful. So he's going to attack again. Oh, there's a crit though. So I do. I does need me a crit. You do need it. No, so that is enough to finally flatten. <laughs> is it Tef? Is it Vol? Yeah, I can't remember. That was Vol. Vol's been flattened. Wow. The Gargan isn't as bad as I thought he was going to be. Only with your dice Because, roll. well, partly that, 
but also when I when I sort of skimmed the rules before, I was seeing that oh, there's the abominable regeneration, there's the the bellow of outrage, all these things make him sound terrifying, but he doesn't actually uh, do most of those things. So he only he only does the bellow if he can't attack somebody. So you always want somebody close enough that he can hit, and he only does the regeneration if he can't move, I believe, and he only does the regeneration whilst he's not inspired. Once he's inspired, it doesn't do that at all. It is um, a valid point that you that you kind of highlighted in that if your opponent suddenly does a wodge of damage and then he gets inspired, there's very little reason for you to go after the Gargan at that point because you can't win. No, I mean, I have to say, Chosen Axes for, for this are terrible because you can't do damage, really, until the second turn. You can't do very much damage until the second turn. True, but then the Oryx aren't much better on that score because I'm rolling just swords. Yeah, but they get injured. True, I they mean, might inspire you, a bit earlier, you, I guess. They get injured, and then, they, and then Gerzak in particular. I mean, you were lucky you got double attack. Yes, I had, you had, I had such to, a yeah. long lead. And then, and then, by the time I was in a position where I could use maybe Potion of Rage, or you kill, I was about unlucky that Tef got killed with the Potion of Rage. But <coughs> that was a bit unlucky. The double damage. <coughs> I, maybe I could have played the double. If I if I had realised the rule, I would have played the double damage card earlier. I hadn't realised I could only score one glory after it was inspired. Oh, okay, I right. Have, I would have played. I would have attacked with fuel. Yes, because you could have possibly damage. knocked six, six or eight damage out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with the with with the. Dwarfs, it's very hard to, to score lots of damage in the first round. Because you're going after objectives yeah, and stuff I think, like that. I think Dwarfs are a bad choice for this, because also they get knocked off the objectives really, really easily. The, well, the Gargan's got that immediately yeah. push someone one hex and do a damage, and, so, and you're, in, you're in trouble there. I'm not sure who, who might be better against this guy, because he hits like a train. Yeah, the ghost. So maybe, but then if no, I guess you're always going to have people close enough, so he's not got to worry, so you've not got to worry about his bellow very often. No, I kind of feel like... Maybe maybe I feel like the the maybe the grots the big war bands with little wound cow might be actually better because they he can he can pretty much kill anybody in one go anyway. Well, he's doing four damage if he could hit. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, does yeah. four damage. And he's got cleave, and and he's rolling four swords, so that does increase his chances of a crit quite quite a bit. So he's usually, if you're rolling averagely, he's probably quite hard to stop. Mm. And he hits like a train, and he's going to one-shot a lot of people. Because you haven't got much damage output, but maybe the Briar Queen. I reckon, um, I reckon like the Briar Queen or Grotz might do quite well. Yeah. Support so Guard, because you can bring people back from the dead. Oh, you've killed my guy, I'm just going to res him again and charge back in. Yeah. So you maybe put all of your eggs in one basket with your champion. Yeah, that's true. Run him in, do a chunk of damage, get him yeah, one shot. Yeah, you can keep, because you can keep bringing him back, so you can yes. keep piling in. Yeah. Um, and putting the upgrades on him, yeah, and getting, 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 basically getting better and better. Yes, because also you get a chance to. Well, I suppose you would only res him in your turn, but then you get a chance to play several uh, Upgrade upgrades, when, depending on how how it's gone. But you can you can react more to situations. It's quite nice having the extra power steps and everywhere where you can play. Yes, plus there's um, there are cards in there that enable you to do things. You got ready for action, yeah, and you've got some other cards which will enable <coughs> you to then possibly do extra attacks or moves. Yeah. So they might do quite well. I think Stormcast might suffer because they're each going to get flattened in turn rather rapidly. Mm, yeah, and, and got, yeah. And, and they're only four wounds. So unless you've got some, and if you've got like um, uh, Deathly Fortitude or um, what's the other one, Sudden Growth, you suddenly make them a bit tougher. But they're still only well, taking. They can't go anywhere then. And so he just stands there and flattens you. Yes, exactly. Goes. Yeah, and he's got the immediate one wound. Yeah. And even so, if you do run away, you can still do the shard gale equivalent if everybody runs away. Because I was thinking the scaven yeah. or whatever might be better keeping away, and then they can zoom one of in, one in and attack, and then he'll die. But then then they can just keep bringing them in from afar. Well, though, as long as you've got someone within range, and he does have a range three attack as well, it's not hard to keep someone close enough by that he can hit yeah. them. And that's that's the main thing because we we never got around to doing his bellow bellow of outrage no. because um, he only does the bellow. Um, if he can't move yeah. or if he can't attack once he's inspired mm. so he never really ever did the bellow or the regeneration thing because mm. yeah, it was always you from like, being in front and then running away doesn't it yeah um, yeah wounding him up and then legging it across the board you're still going to take wounds if you don't sit close enough to him but I think someone like Skaven could possibly do quite well against him you're going to need some uh, you, you definitely want to take the, the card that doubles your damage on a crit but that's only a dwarf only car. 
Is it only a dwarf? Is, oh, that's even right. Yeah. Okay. Dwarf only car. Possibly this need deck needs regal vision. I, mean, in, uh, I did put inspiration strikes in there because it wasn't in it, and I swapped it out uh, because I'm going to need that. It would have been helpful had I got it. I was I was schnookered because you killed Gerzagov, and he had um, he had soul trap, and I failed the roll. Mm. Um, I also had another couple of other cards in there that might have helped me with that because I've got the card. I've got um, I can't what it's called now. On your feet, so if someone dies when someone's next to you, you've got a chance of resing them, but oh, okay. nobody was next to each other by that point, so they were just getting punted across the field. <laughs> it was it was a good laugh, though. I did enjoy that. I think I think the Gargant could do with being a bit more random. I think maybe he should move a little less, because with the ability to move twice, it's very hard to keep away from him, mm. and possibly he should only be able to do one of the manoeuvres. It might be different for two player, might be for a four player game, it's probably not so bad, because he's, he's only moving once per four yes. attacks whereas I think in this game he's moving once per two attacks I think when you've got four people or even possibly three people I think he gets easier although one he, when you have got four people he has got 40 wounds which is a lot more which is a hell of a lot more but he's only moving he's not moving he's not He's not killing people at such a rapid rate well possibly not but he does have the uh, the boulder throw which is range three yeah, but and that's three hammers two damage he's, he's, got, more, he's damage. got more wounds but he for every for every two attacks when you're playing a two player game he gets one attack which you potentially yes, kill truly really. true. and it's for every four attacks uh, he's uh, only got one and, and also there's four times as well there's twice as many bodies on average yeah exactly and also four. it's a glory farm as well so you've got uh, more glory yes because he, he doesn't he doesn't inspire till he hits 20 so there's more um, there's more chance for people to get better inspire cards and not inspire cards but upgrade the things yes as well to do yes. even more damage so I, I think it, it will be easier with, with Players. I definitely think the Gargant would be a tough one to, to take on. Uh, the Gargant's a tough one to take on with two players. Yeah. Especially when you decide to stab somebody in the back. You. Out of turn. You. Yeah. <laughs> Quite possibly. Just basically, yeah, I'm going to take an extra turn. Sorry I'm going to kill you. Well, I, well you took your right for being so far it, in front, doesn't it? It does highlight the fact that you don't necessarily want to plow off ahead. No. You don't want to. You don't want to do really good and plough that far ahead because then your opponent's going to go nothing to lose. well I can't win mm. or I'm very unlikely to win so I might as well take you down with me I think actually that, that said I think there ought to be a, the rule ought to be different it ought to be possible to win the game if you survive to the end and your opponent, none of your opponents do because then it becomes a cat and mouse where, possibly, possibly. Where, so you you could still win or not win you could still not lose by t- tracking me down with the gargant and I, could, I had a possibility of winning if I could escape the Gargan. But as it was, at the end there, my choices were lose with you or lose against or, or, you, to or you. Or lose there wasn't, to I me, didn't yes. have any other choice. So it, yeah. it, it could have done with an, a, a third option, which is if I survive, which is very unlikely, if I survive, then I win because I'm the last man. Or if I if you kill the Gargan and you're the last man standing, then you win. So you can't, if you're dead. Or maybe you get a, a extra glory for an extra, you know, Wadge of glory for killing the gargan. Yeah. Like you get you get ten glory for killing the gargan or something uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something or like that. If you're possibly. alone, or something. So if you're the last man standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibly, because then that would incentivise you to actually still be wanting to try. Yeah, I don't know. It would change the rules though, because then at the end of the game you'd be trying to you'd be thinking, well, I need to kill my opponent now so that I can be the last one. Well, there is that. I mean, I yeah, yeah. Things. There's 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 some different facts there, isn't there? But. It was good I'd fun though, I enjoyed it, a Christmas, bit of Christmas silliness. Yes, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that, despite the fact that we, uh, we <laughs> probably fucked haphazard. up at the end of that first round, beginning of the second round, because I think we're a bit confused. I think the um, I think they should be utilising the dice. I think the dice, there should be a, a roll of dice, consult a chart and see what he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's yeah. this, then he charges, if it's that, then he attacks, or, or you know, that kind of thing. It was but classic Asians of Sigmar preparation. It's like, oh, we've yep. got two weeks to read about this, it'll be fine. <laughs> and then in today it was like, oh, I've still got all day to read the rules, it'll yep. be fine. And then, yep. oh, I'm playing now. The, uh, uh, okay. Uh, How do I do this game? I haven't even had a chance to finish my tea, and I've got to play this game, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you've had a lovely Christmas period, as we've said, and you're all enjoying yourselves, and you haven't eaten too much chocolate, or you've eaten just the right amount of chocolate. I think the too much chocolate is the right amount of chocolate, I hope frankly. you've got plenty of exciting games in Lots your Christmas stuff. stockings. Lots of plastic. I have got Blackstone Fortress, so <laughs> maybe we'll see that in 2019. I, don't, I didn't get any plastic. Not Aww. a bit. 
Boo. But never mind, because you've got Blackstone Fortress, so I'm still going to get to play it. You are. <laughs> yes. I, I, I sneaked it under the radar by telling my wife it was for all of us. It's for the children. It's for the children and me to play together, and Pete is one of the children. In this is Yes. It. Well, it's, you know, IQ of. <laughs> <laughs> You'd just be sitting there. Can I touch that figure, Daddy? No! <laughs> Don't touch any of the models! What have I told you? Leave the balls alone. <laughs> you can roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy that. And we will be running Beat the Gargant more. Um, our Patreon members, our, pa- our patrons, will get to pick our war bands and our decks to try and take down the Gargant. So let's see how we get on next time with him. Yeah. So this is our last video of 2018. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Age it's of Sigma has really taken off this year. It's been great fun to do. We've played over 40 battle reports. Have we? Wow. Well That's over 40. Impressive. I wouldn't. I was going to say 52, but we haven't quite got one out every no, week. So we had a bit of a lull over the summer. summer. Yeah. But we've probably played over 45 battle reports at least. Wow. So there you go. And, and some of you have watched more than one. Yes. So you crazy, crazy cats. You. So thanks, thank you. Thanks, guys. Happy New Year to you. And Happy we will New see you in 2019 Year. when we'll be back with... Oh, I don't think we know what we're going to be back with yet. Which back... Which back Not which a clue. Teams, but don't even know what we're doing. Spire, we've got new warbands to look forward to. We might have yeah. some Blackstone Fortress. It's just going to be upwards and onwards, or whichever way around that phrase is meant to go. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.